Good morning, beautiful souls. It is Friday already. Friday, September 10th. It's just so crazy. Time is just a flying by. I hope that everyone is having a good start to their day. I am over here playing catch up for the next few days so I can start with a clean, fresh slate when I come back from um, my trip with my family. And it's pretty cool because we'll be coming back next Friday but that following Monday is the full moon. So I can release anything that um, <laughs> meditation makes clear to me and gives me clarity over that um, four days. So I'm so excited. All right, today we have number 37, focus on the light. And there's just such a beautiful image here. A tremendous force of light is gathering around you. It is attracted to the purity of your intention to create from your heart. As your intention grows, so does the light. As the light grows, so does your intention. Magic wants to happen for you now. The synchronicity, perfect timing, opportunities, and information that are needed will seem to be drawn right to your door. Now, speaking of synchronicity is real quick. So, sorry, I'm going to interrupt real quick. I got in my Labrador ring yesterday, which I absolutely love from Dark Amethyst Moon, which um, I will leave her linked in the description box. And with her orders, she has been giving cards from the Spellcasting Oracle deck. And the card that I got was the Clarity card. Okay. And then I got this when I was just starting to have a rough day yesterday. And as the day progressed, I grabbed my spell casting deck and started shuffling it, asking, you know, what was I not seeing? And my clarity card fell out. Now that is synchronicity right there. Um, I pulled a shirt out for my two year old that she's never worn before. I was like, wow, I haven't seen that in a long time. It used to belong to my now four year old. So I put it on her, I'm like, wow, you know, I haven't seen that in a while. And even when my four year old had it, she didn't wear it very often. 20 minutes after I put this shirt on my two year old, I get um, Facebook memories of my now four year old when she was two wearing that shirt that she barely ever wore. So synchronicity, synchronicities everywhere. It's just like, even when everything feels chaotic and you might feel lost or stuck, it's those synchronistic moments that really do remind us that everything is gonna be okay, that we're right where we are meant to be. Um, you know, and timing is really everything. You may start to feel as if you cannot walk outside without stumbling into something helpful, wonderful, and inspiring. You might be startled as this interplay of light with your heart evokes many new successes and attracts an abundance of opportunities your way. You may need to adjust as the field of light grows stronger and its effects become more palpable. It may bring rather dramatic improvements into your world. You may be uncomfortable or feel out of your depth with these changes. This would be understandable, but it would be a shame for you to hold on to that resistance for anything more than a brief moment. Any resistance or fear will inhibit the continuing free flow of light so that it can manifest its beauty through you in the physical world where it is needed. It is best to stay focused on your pure heart and intentions. Just allow all else to happen of its own accord without making it mean anything too personal. Simply let it be the workings of the great light of love flowing through a pure heart and touching the world. Even if the light that is drawn to you and flows through you has some dazzling effects, you don't have to get caught up in it. Doing so might start you worrying that you are unworthy or that you're unable to keep up. This worry will constrict possibilities rather than allowing the free flow of light. You have permission simply to be appreciative of the light, to enjoy it as you continue to focus on what really matters, the pure intention of your heart and your desire to create. If you're not sure what this means or how it would look on a practical level, consider this example. A service-oriented business becomes very successful financially and gains considerable commercial power, which can be used to help promote its message or assist other organizations in gaining exposure to the public. 
of course, that power could be used in less pure ways, such as boosting personal ego rather than promoting the agenda of the heart. Power games and politics might start erupting as the people grab for their share and suddenly the purity of the project begins to crumble. Sometimes success can be like a powerful mirror and a shining searchlight as it shows up what was already within someone or within a group of people. Under the spotlight of success is a more intense, amplified, and obvious. This can give us opportunity to sow the seeds of our own destruction or to work on what arises from a heart-centered perspective to create a firmer foundation that supports even greater attainment. How would that work in this example? By returning attention to the heart of why the business started in the first place. It is wise to maintain focus on the pure, original motivation for the work rather than shifting course to focus on money or influence. The latter are not bad per se, but they are a rather different vibration, focused on personal gain rather than heart-centered contribution. When focus shifts from the heart, the underlying energy of any creative project can become contaminated with lower vibrational forces such as fear. And if this is not rectified, that business or creative project will begin to change. It will lose the luster of its original purpose that made it so attractive and magnetic to the light. Its continued ability to grow as a light in the world will be diminished. It may end up becoming just another corporate machine, successful according to more conventional measures. The genuine heart-centered success that creates a win-win field of energy for all involved can only be attained, nurtured, and expanded when those creating the project or business remained focused on the purity of their own intentions. This oracle brings an assurance of success of the highest order, not just commercially, but from the heart. It will manifest as a highly valuable offering to the world. This applies to a project, endeavor, or organization in which you are involved. Your heart will help you realize which group or project it applies to. It may be more than one. However, you must stay focused. Enjoy the glittering lights of success, but don't be distracted by them. Stay on point with what you want to create and why. Stay true to yourself. This oracle also brings another message. Don't be distracted by other paths around you at this time as you are too close to succeeding on the one that you are on now. Diluting your energies in the pursuit of too much will slow down your success and the world needs your light to shine sooner rather than later. In time, you may diversify and explore other ways to express yourself, but for now, build what you are working on and know that success is coming swiftly. Wow, guys. Okay, so today the universe is telling you to remember why you, you started whatever it is that you're doing, a project, um, a business pursuit, um, a new adventure. There's a new adventure and the universe wants you to know that don't forget why you started it to begin with. Make sure that your intentions are pure, okay? Because we can all easily get distracted, right? We can get off course and it really does lower our vibrations and then we actually start to attract um, this, this greed energy or this, um, this lack. You know, we may feel like for example, if we start worrying more about how much money we're bringing in or worried more about how many likes we have instead of the pure creative intentions of what you started with, um, we can start to feel like we're lacking when, when we just forget completely, you know, that we started this because we were passionate about it. You can't lose that passion. So whatever it is that you're doing today, check in with yourself and make sure that your intentions are still pure. And if you find that you've gone off track, it's okay. Don't be down on yourself. You know, you're human. It's fine. But you can definitely course correct because look, if you're not making mistakes, then you're not doing anything. <laughs> so it's okay to mess up. It's okay to make mistakes and to, you know, get off the path that you originally were going for. But get back on it, guys. Get right back on it. And I love that. If you're not making mistakes, then you're not doing anything. Well, I've been doing a lot lately in that sense <laughs> because the way I see it is we have to screw up on stuff before we can get it right. You know, pretend like you're in a new job. 
you, you're going to screw up a couple times before you get it right. That's how you're going to learn to get it right. Trial and error, making mistakes. We are not perfect, you know, and you can never expect that from yourself. And of course, we always feel down on ourselves when we make a mistake. But gosh, guys, we've got to realize that that was a learning experience. You know, it doesn't make you less than. It is okay to course correct and to fix those mistakes, to continue and move on and follow that light. Focus on that light. And then real quick, I might as well read the healing process. Imagine that a huge sunflower is following the sun from sunrise to sunset. Imagine a golden arc of light being created by the gently moving head of the sunflower. That arc of light flips upside down to become a vessel filled with golden energy that drops down like a rainfall of energy from the golden orb of the sun. Imagine you can bathe in the vessel of golden energy. It feels good. Stay with that good feeling and let it settle in your heart. In your own time, just open your eyes. You have completed your healing process. All right, guys, I hope you all have a super awesome Friday, TGIF. Love, light, and blessings, and I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.